Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting challenge in web development. Our viewer is working on a hybrid MVC5 and AngularJS application, where anonymous users can request pricing for services by answering a series of questions. However, there's a catch. Users can bookmark their unique URI and return days later to continue, which is not the desired behavior. So, how can we prevent this? Let's explore the options, focusing on using HTTP cookie for timeout and URL expiration. Welcome to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To address the issue of users returning to a bookmarked URI after a long time, we can utilize HTTP cookie with an expiration time. This allows us to control how long the user's session can remain active. When implementing HT cookie, you can set an expiration date. This means that if the user tries to access the URI after the cookie has expired, they will be redirected or shown an error message. Another option is to save the last access time in the database. This way, you can validate if the user returns within a stipulated time frame. If they exceed this time, you can prompt them to start over. While HTTP cookie is a straightforward solution, be aware of potential side effects. For instance, users can disable cookies in their browsers, which would prevent this method from working. Lastly, if you want to explore alternatives, consider using local storage in the browser to track session state. However, this may require additional client-side logic. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To expire a link without using storage, you can add an expiration date and sign the URL. This method is scalable and efficient. You can create your URL by combining the payload information with the expiration date then signing it using HMAT 256 or any preferred algorithm. To check for expiration, parse the URL and verify the signature. If the signature matches, the link is valid. If not, it has been modified. This approach enhances user experience especially if the browser closes unexpectedly or when sharing links. Hope this helps you manage link expiration effectively. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user decided to use a session cookie for managing timeout and URL expiration. They hashed a unique ID and stored it in the cookie with added salt. They noted that the anonymous user session is short-lived as the cookie is removed when the browser is closed. If a user bookmarks the URI, the system checks for the session cookie in the HTTP request. 
If it's missing, the user is redirected to a challenge page. The user chose the MD5 algorithm for hashing, acknowledging its speed despite being collision prone. They believe it's acceptable since no sensitive data is stored in the cookie. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Instead of using cookies for timeout or URL expiration, consider generating a unique token for each user session. This token can be stored on the server with its creation date. This method is more secure than relying on cookies and allows for better data management. Additionally, you can incorporate analytics by storing question and answer combinations along with generated prices for each session. Start collecting valuable data early. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you to get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.